What it do, Dream Team? It's your boy, D. Neil and Mackenzie. Back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with Only Fools and Horses Season 4, Episode 5. Let or Sleeping Dogs Lie. Before we dive in, make sure you guys subscribe, ring the notification bell, give the video a thumbs up. Let's see what we got. La, 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 la. No, 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 everything's cushy. Yeah. No, 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 you got nothing to worry about. Wait, look, you know me, I'll do anyone a favour. If the money's right. Yeah. <laughs> you had to interfere, didn't you? I was merely trying to get a picture for you. I had a picture till you come in and started mucking around with Ariel. There was a ghost on the screen. Of course there was a ghost on the screen. I was watching an horror film. <laughs> Just leave things alone, will you, Rodney? Do you realise there are nine on four million people unemployed in this country? And all you can do is sit there and watch horror films. But what would you like me to do? Well, you... <laughs> Could at least think about it. <laughs> I've been thinking about it. That's why I want to watch horror films. Well, look, hold on, shut up, you two, will you? Look, I'm on the blower. Yeah, sorry, go on. Of course, I blame it on computers, you know. Because how many people have been put on a dole by a robot what can build a car or what have you? See, that's why I'll never get a proper job. Because I can train a robot to do something better than I can. I can train a chimpanzee to do it better than you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, look, listen, I'll see, you, I'll see you tomorrow morning about 11 o'clock, okay, pal? Yeah, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> I got a coup! I pulled off a genuine coup! Not another coup. Mm. What have you done this time? Well, we got someone coming to stay with us for the next couple of weeks. <laughs> a paying guest. Who's that then, Del? It's not a who. It's a what? What? Exactly. It's a dog. <laughs> I don't think... want none of your smart remarks either. Voicey <laughs> <laughs> so, and Marlene's puppy, they're going away on holiday tomorrow, and they want us to look after it. Well, why don't they just stick it in the kennels? You see, Marlene don't trust them. See, the thing is, Rodney, for the last few years, Boise and Marlene have been trying to start a family, right? But so far, as they say on the continent, nitto. <laughs> What's this got to do with a puppy? Marlene started to get broody, right? So old Boise, he goes and buys her a little puppy for Christmas. I mean, puck a thing, you know, no, no mucking about. I mean, it's got a pedigree. Cost him 600 quid. Six, six hundred, but... Well, I said... See, I've never been... Y'all got them all? Ah, she was, she was my sister. She would be stuck. I'd be like... <laughs> my mom was like, we can't leave her. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have been like, we not leaving her. She choosing the animals. <laughs> right, and she was home alone with them. Yeah, I was like, she could come. The dog just take her. But, I, I mean, I guess people who do own pets see them as like family members. So. Yeah, I feel like I would too. If we had our own. If we had our own, yeah. I would like, bring them with us, yeah, if we had our own. Because, I mean, I have a heart, so it's like, I understand what she's saying, because something was to happen to them, I'd feel terrible. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I know that I would be heartbroken if we had our own dog. Yeah, yeah. 
I think, yeah, with me, I'm just like, if it come down to me as a dog, I gotta lick it. Bro, you see that guy went to the kangaroo for his dog? And exactly. He over there talking That's, about true. That's true. But I got to live. I've seen a lot of times people's like dogs, you know, will, like me getting attacked by like an alligator or something, or, or they see an alligator coming towards them, they run into the water just to get their dog. Yeah. And you talking about some them people be over the dog. I know I I would never in a million years run into a water with all, an alligator in it to say the dog. I'd I, be screaming for it. I'm gonna appreciate that the dog put their life on the line and sacrificed it for me to have a chance to get away. And so I won't disrespect the dog's sacrifice by trying to go in there and be safe. You got that. <laughs> I'll be like, that joke is gone, bro. Bro, I wouldn't even just scream for you at that point because, come on. I know who you are, and you know, if it was me in there about to get attacked by I'd an alligator, I'd probably go save you, bro. If there was a shark or an alligator, a or shark? Or... If you get caught by, what am I really going to be able to do? And what are you really going to be able to do if I get, if I'm getting attacked by an alligator? Stab it in the eye. Just stab the shark in the eye. It'll let go for a minute. That's and then true. come back. Just like that again. That's true, yeah. I tell you, I'm not saving the dog. I love dogs, but I'm not saving the dog, bro. At most, their lifespan is like 13 years. 14, maybe. Uh, something around there. And you want me to sacrifice the remaining 15 to 16 years like I love. <laughs> I said, you know, boys, tell me, if you come to see me, like, I could have got you one much cheaper than that. Like, <laughs> anyway, Marlene, right, she thinks that this puppy is her baby you now, you know what I mean? <laughs> and she don't want her baby put in some muddy old kennels. She wants it to receive a personal attention. Ah, the sort that we can provide for 60 quid a week. 60 pounds? Mm. But, dude, we don't know nothing about it. Because canine welfare, right, that's a specialised profession. Don't oh, leave it out, Rodney. I mean, look, all you've got to do, like, you've got to feed it in the morning, right, take it for a walk over the adventure playground and Bob's wrangle. <laughs> like Boyce and Marlene find out. We'll have to swear the dog to secrecy, won't we? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what happens if one of the neighbours tell them? Well, what are they going to say, eh? They're going to say, Here, we saw Rodney taking your dog out every morning, every evening for a walk. Well, what's wrong with that? It's exactly what Boise and Marlene want us to do, isn't it, eh? Yeah, I suppose you're right. What do you mean? I saw Rodney take the dog. Figure of speech, that's all, Rodney. Figure of speech. I know you're No, 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 we're on time, Boise. Must be something wrong with your watch. Here, yeah, don't want to buy a decent one, do you? Well, from and you, you must be joking. Why? Listen, if... Oh, hello, Marley, my love. Hello, sweetheart. Hey. Woo! Did you have Christmas? Oh, oh dripping, yeah. I had a dog. Yeah? We had a turkey, same as every other year. <laughs> <laughs> Marlene, why don't you go and get the dog and then perhaps we can get going? Yeah, all right. I'll fetch his food as well. I like your lipstick, Del. Surely. <laughs> See where you're off to then, 
shall we see? Oh, we're just off for a couple of weeks to the Seychelles. Never been to the Seychelles, have you? Don't know, have we ever been at the Seychelles, Rodney? Oh, well, I'd have to check the passport. <laughs> <laughs> now, you are quite sure you will be able to look after this dog? Of course I will. Yeah, oh yeah, Dell's had lots of experience. <laughs> right, remember, this is not just a dog. Because he's talking about deep in dating dogs. Yeah. <laughs> this is Marlene's baby. Sometimes I wish I'd never bought it. <laughs> well, they told me it was a great day. Hmm? Oh, didn't I? I must have slipped my mind. I thought it was a puppy. <laughs> Gordon Bennett. Sue, this is your uncle Bill and Rodney. <laughs> He's lovely, ain't he? I said, we can't take that. No. Y'all gonna have to send it to the kennels. Because we can't get... Well, that thing bigger than I am. Yeah, y'all ain't tell us it was this size. No, <laughs> y'all should have told us. We're only five feet over here. Come on. I'd be like, that joke already growling at me? Mm -hmm. No. Same size as me and growling at me? That ain't gonna work. Can't do it. And I thought my sister's dogs were big, bro. No. Can't do that. It's terrific. <laughs> <laughs> Take him for walkies first thing in the morning, once in the evening, and then again last thing at night. Now, when it's his bedtime, you put a blanket over him, and then you talk to him for a while. Don't want me to bring his wind up, do you? <laughs> <laughs> should be all right. And don't worry, he's house trained. Hey, we live in a flat. <laughs> <laughs> and in he is his vitamin pills. One in the morning, before breakfast, not after. Marlene, come along, for God's sake, we do have a flight to catch. Come on, kiss him goodbye. Yeah, bye, Del. See you soon. For <laughs> God's sake, the dog, Marlene. Yes, bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, gonna... How you feel about Marlene and their relationship? That's weird, but first of all, you would kill me. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're, you're the best single. If I greeted your friends like that. You're the best single for show for show. If I even look at him. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> Missy's little mum's worms it is me her mummy's gonna miss her little Makes you wanna throw up, doesn't it? <laughs> Tom Dick myself. Come along, Marlene, we're gonna miss that plane. Yeah. If he bites you, don't scream, he's only strung. Alright, <laughs> if we bleed. Oh, he doesn't sink his teeth in, he's only playing. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye, Dookie Wook. Bye bye. Did you switch everything off? Yes. Did you switch the burglar alarm on? Yes. Did you lock everything up? Get in the car! Gotta be me for the show. Yes. That's uh, usually McKinley rushing me out the door. Yeah, it is. It's usually, what did you do this? Did you do that? Did you lock the door? Did you turn the lights off? Did you blow out your candle? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get the food. Oh, wait. Here. Here, look at this, Rodney. Isn't it steaks, look? Chicken breast, veal scallops. Ooh, we're gonna eat all right for the next week or so, eh? <laughs> Oi, it's supposed to be for the dog. You must be joking. That thing's gonna get a bowl of kenna meat every day and think yourself lucky. <laughs> I swear to God. Who was feeding their dog there? Dog's supposed to eat dog food. She loves that dog. Yeah, but that's not good for him, I don't think. Well, I think a dog can eat that stuff. I don't think it's good for him. I could be wrong. I, I think I don't... I want to say it's for a fact that I know they're not supposed to have chocolate. Yeah. I don't know about it. I, I, so. 
I used to get my dog chocolate. It lived to like 14, 15. <laughs> it I died of old age. Um, <laughs> I was about to say, tell them how long it lived. They'll come for you. Yeah. I saw it. I guess it's a dog thing um, with certain dogs. I don't know. It, it had a litter of puppies and a couple of them didn't make it. Aww. And I walked outside and I saw my dog eating her dead puppies. <gasps> yes. Eating her dead puppies. Oh my God. Yes. So I'm like, if it can eat them dead puppies, it eat some chocolate. Oh my God. That's terrible. Yeah, y'all comment if y'all ever see y'all dog do that or like y'all know like that's a, supposed to be like a natural dog behavior. So. Is it like, and I don't know if that's dogs or if it's a different animal, but isn't it like there's some, if they know that something's wrong with one of them, they'll kill it? I think that's, I don't know if it's dogs, it might be. I know it's, it is with certain animals, yeah. Yeah, because I don't know if it's specifically with dogs or. Yeah. And sometimes it's not that they like kill it necessarily, but like they won't allow it to feed over the stronger ones. Or... I know, like I want to say, it's like gorillas or something. Yeah, like chimpanzees or whatever. I know they do that. No, I didn't know that. Like kill the weak. Survival of the fittest. I mean, you gotta take care of the ones who gonna be strong and get them. Yeah, but just think of like the humans did that. Oh yeah, that's terrible. Right, which I know, like you know, some people do the whole abortion thing, but like you know, some people don't know until like the baby's born. Yeah. Like, what if people just did that? Because your dogs, so they don't know until it's born. In the human world, that's murder. Mm -hmm. But in the animal world, once again, yeah. so I mean, if we don't kill you, something out there gonna kill you. Because they see you weak, but they gonna find predators go for the weak. Yeah, but I think. can't afford to give you these resources and then have something else come and kill you. I don't know. I feel like even if I was an animal, I think I would prefer something else to kill my baby than me kill my baby. I agree. But, but I, would like less, you, I would just bless them to kill my baby. I can say that. But we think like you. And <laughs> what if Marlene finds out? And how is she going to find out? I suppose Duke is going to grass us up, is he? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll work here, That dog don't like that. Right. We can smell fear. I'm surprised you can smell anything at all with that gallon of brute you're wearing. Right, <laughs> <laughs> your turn today, Rodney. It was my turn yesterday. <laughs> Rodney, take him for a run. <laughs> Joke! Joke! Here you are then. Come on, up you get, old boy. Come on. Look. Huh? Look. Hold on. Here you are. Ready? Ready? <laughs> <laughs> yeah? 
Iya. Oh, come on, Joe. Looks like a leg. <laughs> Joke. <laughs> Hello. He's nice. Have you had him long? Or has he always been that length? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a great Dane man myself. Really? Mm. One at Crutz, two years on the trot. Really? Oh, yeah. You uh, may have seen me on the old uh, Chum advert. I can't say that I actually have. No. no, there's nothing I don't know about <laughs> dogs. Now, you want any advice, you know? I'm your man. Well, Sasha, she's always tearing little holes in my carpet. What would you recommend? A new carpet. <laughs> now, as it happens, I know this little bloke down in Wapping. He fixed you up a treat. He's Iranian, but uh, he has got contacts in Persia. <laughs> <laughs> This is my trainer. Excuse me. Uh, what, what is it, Rodney? I don't want to worry you, but I think the dog's dead. <laughs> well, let me rephrase it, shall I? I don't want to worry you, but I think the dog is dead. <laughs> now, come on. I just can't get staff these days. <laughs> Marlene ain't even got the tops off their suntan oil, and we're burying their door. Look. Dookie, Duke, come on in. Come on. Cats, cats, meow meow cats. <laughs> He's not dead, Rodney. Look at him, not looking as he's breathing, look. Oh, thank God for that. So what's the matter with him? Well, I don't know, do I? We better get him down to vets. This is going to cost an arm and a leg, this is. Oi, Del, yeah. shall I get his balls? You leave him alone. <laughs> I don't want him waking up in a temper. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, I was just thinking, that's all. All these years, Marlene's tried to have a baby and failed. And when you tell her her jokey woogie's about to croak it, she'll have twins. He's not dead. He ain't chasing many cats, though, is he? <laughs> I thought you this might be normal. Normal? Tell what are you trying to tell me? Dogs hibernate or something? <laughs> no, what I mean is, look, what I mean is, I mean, I... Oh, I don't know what I mean, do I? Anyway, all I want you to know is I'm not blaming you. Blaming me, I ain't done nothing. That's what I mean, that's why I'm not blaming you. <laughs> but you know, when you put Dookie in the back of the van, did you catch his head when you slammed the door? No, I didn't. You sure? Dill, if you catch a great Dane's head in a door, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I suppose you're right. I'll tell you who's to blame for all this hmm? Uncle Albert. Well, what did he do? He didn't do nothing, he's just a jinx. Oh, don't start all that again. I've said it before, I'll say it again. That man is a right Jonah. They reckon when he boarded his last ship, the crew shot on Albatross for luck. <laughs> Would you stop going on about bloody Albert? Well, it's a bit of a coincidence, though, isn't it, Dale? I mean, yesterday we pick up a perfectly healthy dog, one night in a flat, and wallop, the curse of the trotters is upon it. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's gonna be all right, I've got this feeling. How oh, Duke is going to be okay, going to come out in a minute, he's going to be full of life, full of vim, full of vigour. I wish I had your faith, Bill. Yeah. Oi, up. Ah. Yes. Well, what's the SP? Mr. Collis is making a few final tests. He shouldn't be too long. That's joke. He's holding his own. You are, Rodney. He's up to his old tricks already. <laughs> no, you don't understand. Duke is still unconscious. Look, why don't you sit down and relax? Duke's in the best possible hands, I can assure you. Yes, yes, okay, I think. Thanks, darling. Yeah. I'll tell you what I really feel bad about now. What's that? That leg of pork Marlene put in a bag for joke. Well, what about it? Well, we ate it last night. <laughs> <laughs> joke you had to make do with a tin of dog food. 
Every mouthful of that meal made me feel more and more guilty. You should have let me know, Rodney. You and him could have swapped. <laughs> anyway, he had some of it, didn't he? Yeah, well, warmed up leftovers for breakfast. Yeah, I didn't hear Dukey complaining, though, did you? We even had his steaks for lunch the other day, didn't we? Yeah, well, look, he's most probably sick to death of steaks, isn't he? As of every day of his life. Look, look, can you change the subject, please? Going on about bloody steaks and legs of pork? But can't we talk about something more, you know, more aesthetical? <laughs> you want to talk? Yes. Yeah, sure. You take it away, Derek. Have you ever overfed a fish? Overfed? Yeah. Um, I don't think so. I mean, because the one time that I had a fish, I had it for one day. Yeah. I was like, in elementary. Never had the opportunity to <laughs> overfeed the fish. I feel like I feel like that'd be a good way to die, though. <laughs> my grandma had a fish. I'm thinking as a kid, like you just, I don't know. As a kid, you always want to feed it. Like you see the fish and you want to see the fish eat. And so, yeah. yeah. I don't, I don't remember what happened to it actually. I don't even remember it dying. So, but I know I've seen like fish. Watch it in its tape because you know the hippo were always by and drown. Oh, I didn't know that. And so I would, it would constantly like go on the slow ladder, and then when he would try to slide down, he'd flip over on his back and he'd try to flip over, and I'd have to go over there and rush over the tube and flipping. Like without water, he could drown? It would. It wasn't water. Oh, it wasn't water. Okay. It was a water turtle. Oh, I remember. So I'm saying, so when he would go up the ladder to go get his food, You don't remember me sending me videos yeah. of being like, bro, because he would do it over and over and over. Like, just eat till you get full, then go to the water. So probably, don't go get a bite and go back down. And go get a bite and go back down. He is probably playing a game. Like, let's see how long it takes before she looks me. <laughs> <laughs> and he would he would sit over there, and then I would have to watch him. I could never watch TV. I had to watch him. Oh, see, yeah. See me after I flip you that first time, you do it again. I need to figure out how to unclip yourself because I ain't always going to be here to watch you. You feel me? No, so. I, I loved him. And then so whenever, uh, whenever I came to Memphis to, to see you and I had to leave you, I had to have my parents check on him. <laughs> I was like, please make sure he gets fed, make sure you know. <laughs> I would have I would have fed him, but I, I ain't finna just keep an eye on him until he go I did. I was like, keep an eye on him. I never liked creatures like that you had to put in a uh, cage or like a container. Really? Because it's be so, it'd be too much for me to have to give me everything out and clean it every so often. Like, I'm not doing that. I didn't think it was that bad. I mean, I would just take him out of his little tank.
be at. Until it warmed up. And then after it was, it wasn't so so too long. I think the little blow dryer and it hated the sound. But I See, I've never wanted to animals on my own, but I always help take care of them. Like every time I came through, though, you hear the cat start meowing as loud as possible because it knew Darius gonna feed me. <laughs> he give me some water. Because my little bros will always be on their game 24 7. Cat ain't ate all day. I come through the door, the owl's going absolutely bonkers, bro. And so I gotta feed it, give it water. But dang, one of them got sick, bro. And like it was just struggling. And then we was in the house chilling in the living room, and the bedroom was right there. And he just heard this thud, like the cat fell off the bed. Crawl under the bed, bro. Came in like a minute later. It was dead, bro. That's sad. It crawled in the bed. To See, die. like I've only had two cats. That one, and then we lived in a different place, and it was a little baby kid. And it kept coming up to the house, and I would feed it, so it kept coming back. Well, eventually I just took it in because I'm like, I can't stand it. It's like yeah. just be out here. So I took it in, and then one day, um, I was playing with it outside, and this parent these like mom and dad and their little daughter were like walking by and I guess it was her cat and they were out looking for it and so when she saw it she started like crying and she she named it goldfinch okay. and then yeah and so they took it back and so uh, then I went back into the house and started crying because I didn't get the dad <laughs> <laughs> but what was I gonna do tell the little girl she couldn't have her cat back it was her cat I would have told my parents it's time for me to get a cat. I'm a girl. They should have got you a cat. But I wanted that one. <laughs> I didn't want a cat until I saw that one. And I then took care of it for like two weeks. And you mean to tell me you couldn't find your cat for two weeks? It only been in my house for like four days. I'd have been like, like it's some kind of reward. Right. <laughs> I mean, sure, like it could have, it could have been starving. Like, Exactly. But I took it in. I gave it baths. Exactly. I gave it food. See? Well, now that you heard all of our pet stories, we can continue <laughs> to show guys. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't off give that one, couldn't you? <laughs> oh, I Doc, what news? Oh, well, it's difficult to say. His heart beats normal. Oh, is that good? Of course. <laughs> All the tests have proved negative. I'm just waiting the results of his blood sample. Uh, and have you taken um, um, an X-ray? <coughs> yes, yes. There's no sign of any damage. It's a complete mystery. Never mind, we'll keep him here as long as necessary. Uh, where shall I send the bill? I've got the details here, sir. How long will it take, Doc? Oh, it shouldn't take long. Not if I send it first class. <laughs> No, no, I don't mean that. that. I mean, how long will it take for Dookie's recovery? Oh, <laughs> I see. Uh, well, it will take as long as it takes, Mr. Trotter. Uh, so all, all we can do now is keep a close eye on him and let nature take its course. Yeah. What have you been feeding him on? Well, just tins of dog. Steak. My steaks. Our best porterhouse steak he had for his lunch. He has liver for his supper. He had uh, roast pork for breakfast. You know, only the very finest. He's had his milk. He's had his vitamins. You name it, he's had it. Pork mm -hmm. for breakfast. Yes. Was it freshly cooked pork? Yes, freshly cooked the night before. <laughs> Did you reheat it thoroughly? Well, well, we warmed it up a bit. Yes. You warmed it up a bit. Oh, well, I think we may have solved the mystery. Were neither of you aware that white meat, particularly pork, unless thoroughly reheated, is a notorious breeding ground for salmonella poisoning? Salmonella poisoning? <laughs> Do you reckon that's what Dookie's got? Well, it's a strong possibility, wouldn't you say? This, this leg of pork, have you still got it? Oh, not on us. <laughs> no, it's, it's back home in the fridge. Uh, could you bring it in for examination? Yeah, we'll pop back and get it right away. Come on. No, the dustman come round today. Albert might have slung it. Oh, no, that dozy old kid. Can I use your phone? <laughs> Wait, well, listen, if it is this salmonella poisoning, right, will he survive? Well, it depends on what strain of salmonella it is. That's why I need to examine that meat. How long have you had the dog? Oh, uh, one day. <laughs> one day? Yeah. Oh, no, you see, it ain't our dog, it's a friend. We're just look looking after him. 
How much? A still boy. Yeah, now, I will... Ahoy there! <laughs> Listen, Albert, now, about that piece of pork in the fridge. Pickles and crusty bread. Yeah, it sounds lovely. He's eaten it. <laughs> oh, no, look, I I'll telephone the hospital from my office. You get him down there as quickly as you can. The hospital? Yes, certainly. Uh, uh, Albert, listen, Albert. Uncle, Uncle Albert, now listen to me. Listen very carefully. I want you to do me a favour. Listen, I want you to put a few things in your duffel bag, put your coat on and go and stand in a hall and wait for me and Rodders, because we're going to pop you down to the hospital. Well, you've got to have an operation. <laughs> I have to have an operation. A fiver says he does. All right, you're wrong. All right. <laughs> No, listen, I know you don't want to have an operation. Nobody wants to have an operation, but everyone at some time in their lives has to have one. And today it's your turn. <laughs> now, listen, you know that piece of pork you had for dinner? I know, I know, I know you're going to laugh at this, Uncle. Candy, don't. You're on. <laughs> well, there's a, a strong uh, possibility that it contained Sam and Ella poisoning. <laughs> Sam, Sam and, and Ella. Ella. <laughs> 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 Oi, stop that. Stop it. You're a grown man. Pull yourself together. Now, listen, we're going to come down and we'll pick you up in a couple of minutes. Now, be ready. Rodney, you should have warned me about this. Warn you about it? I didn't know myself. Well, you're the one with GCEs, ain't you? <laughs> yeah, I've got a GCE in Max and R. I ain't got a GCE in Paul. <laughs> I'll pop down and see him tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, thank you very much, sister. Yeah, okay. And, uh, bonjour, no. It's all right. <laughs> See what I mean, Rodney? You know, a little bit of French. A little bit of French always knocks some bandy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about Albert? I take it we can't go and see him tonight, then? Ah, uh, no, he's none too clever, apparently. I mean, you know, he's had pipes and gadgets and everything stuck in it, you know. <laughs> Well, it's not one, though. Do you want a grind? Yeah, right, cheers. <laughs> Bring him over there, will you? Oh, hang on. Did you get in touch with a vet? Yeah. They said Dookie was comatose. Comatose. Well, funny enough, I thought that when I saw him laid spark out on the back of the van. <laughs> well, you'd be right, wouldn't you, wouldn't you? Because I bet when it's comatose, most probably, you know, sleep is the best thing for him. Rest, rest, and more rest, ain't it? <laughs> oh, do they have to operate on Albert? Hey, no. What are they spit? I guess the grapes got like seeds in them or something. Is it that or is it the stem? Huh? I hope they wouldn't put a grape in their mouth with the stem attached to it. Why would they do that? But grapes don't have seeds. I'm here five of them. <laughs> 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 the remember? I said they wouldn't have to operate, and you said they would. Yeah, boy, you that's the phone. Five, that was no, a five pound Never bet. mind about that. The phone going to make me work there. Look, go on, go on, off you go. Hello? Yeah, who is it? Bicey! <laughs> Bicey! <laughs> Where is it? Has he come back early or something? <laughs> So, uh, where are you finding from then, boys? You're still over there. Oh. Huh? Yeah, Dale? Huh? <laughs> Dale's not in at the moment. 
Oh, oh yeah, he's here. Yeah. Yeah, okay, put her on then. Hello, Marlene. No, no, don't you worry about Duke. He's as happy as they come. Yeah. Uh, get down, Duke. <laughs> <laughs> Little rascal jumping all over me. Most probably recognises your voice, eh, Marlene? Yeah. Eh? Hey? <laughs> Duke to talk to her. <laughs> talk to her? It's a bloody dog, the scatty mare. <laughs> oh, she tell her she can't. Oh, go on. <laughs> Come on, Jokey, talk to Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jokey, talk to Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that, he's gone running off into the kitchen now, Marlene, and there's someone at the door, so I've got to go. See ya. Oh, oh, don't mess around with me. Come on, dude, he talked to Bobby. <laughs> Oi, 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 you up to that again, are you? Women in uniforms? Hey, no, I ain't. You want to watch it, Rodney, you're going to end up marrying an Arcala. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, sorry, sir, we've come to pick up our uncle. Yeah, uh, Mr Trotter, yeah. the nurse said he might be able to come on. Oh, yes, yes. of course. I'll, uh... Oh, sorry. Sorry, yeah. I'll uh, just have a quick look at him first. Last night he underwent some rather thorough examination. Yeah, so the sister said on the phone. Uh, was anything wrong with him? No, not that I could tell. In fact, I just had a phone call from uh, Mr Collis at the veterinary clinic. Apparently the dog has now made a complete recovery. Duke's back on his feet. Still, you did the right thing to bring your uncle in. Oh. Better safe than sorry. Yeah, thank you. Okay, yeah. let's go and see how he is. Thank you. Yes. Ah, Mr Trotter. You ain't doing nothing else to me, are you? <laughs> no, no, don't worry. All right then? No, I'm not. I was all right yesterday, though. Yesterday, I never felt better in all my life. But you had to drag me in here for bloody Frankenstein to experiment on. <laughs> They've had me on me back, on me belly, upside down, every which way but loose. <laughs> Wires, pipes, tubes, bits of string, injections. What do you think they give me for lunch today? Roast bleeding pork. <laughs> ah, well, you never missed much on telly last night, so... What's wrong with me? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing? You mean I've had stomach pumps and enemies, glucose strips, <laughs> students drawing all over me belly with felt top pins, and, and there's nothing wrong with me? It's great, isn't it, eh? <laughs> well, that was, you didn't come and see me last night. Suppose you're too busy visiting that dog. Fight for your country and risk your life in sea and flame. <laughs> you get old and everyone forgets you. Listen here, you silly old sausage. <laughs> we couldn't come and visit you last night because you was under observation. Oh, don't give that to me, son. Well, we bought you some grapes. Yeah? Where are they? We ate them. I lay here last night, tubes sticking out of every place you could stick them in. Couldn't sleep, pills wouldn't even work, and all the time you two were eating my grapes. Oh, come on. We did miss you last night. <coughs> did you? Yeah. <laughs> we had no one to spit the pips at. <laughs> come on, Jules. The pips. You don't know what the pips are. Get him out of here, he's giving me the arm. <laughs> Any problems? Mm. No, Doctor, there's nothing wrong with me. I feel full of fitness and vitality. Good. Well, bye for now, Mr. Trotter. See you again. Not if I see you first, shipmate. It's all right. Come on. Come on, hurry up. We're going to get you home. The yeah, moaning, miserable old git. Don't here. stop, does he? And we got him all that treatment, and that's all for nothing. That's right. Uh, <laughs> and does he think anything of it? No, does he yell? Oh, by the way, hmm? sister gave me these. Why, what's the matter with you? <laughs> hey, no. She found them in your uncle's locker. Oh, see. Patients are not allowed to bring their own medication into the hospital. Bear that in mind for future. Mm -hmm. 
What's he doing with these, then? These are Juki's vitamin tablets. No, they ain't. Those are Albert's sleeping pills. I've got his vitamin tablets here. <laughs> no. You've been giving Juki his sleeping pills. <laughs> on the sideboard and I just... Oh. <laughs> Albert's been on the Bob Martins! <laughs> <laughs> People eat vitamins for dogs, bro. Bro. They put that dog to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder he's full of vitality. <laughs> what should we do? Just don't throw him any sticks, that's <laughs> No, no, no. It's, no, it's a bit unfair, isn't it, after what he's been through. Yeah, yeah let's tell him. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's, he's miserable enough as it is, isn't he, eh? Yeah. <laughs> you probably think he's going to turn into a werewolf or something. <laughs> so we just keep stum about the whole thing and no one will be any the wiser, right? Just want to keep a very close eye on him. When he goes past lampposts and things. Hey, 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 Nothing. Nothing. No. Well, come on. Yeah. <laughs> come on, boy. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there you go. Come on, boy. Come on. <laughs> That's how we got y'all. Make sure y'all subscribe, read up the case you man, give the video a thumbs up. We hope y'all enjoyed the uh, pet stories. <laughs> <laughs> and we out of here.